dear students hope you are all well so in our first term we learnt about life on the earth that was about the first living thing that was formed in water that is the unicellular organism called protozoa and how from that unicellular organism developed various kinds of multicellular organism that is plants and animals right and we also learned about the vertebrates and invertebrates animal that is different kinds of vertebrates and invertebrate animals and we also learned about evolution of mankind that is how man evolved from apes to homo habilis homo erectus neanderthal man homo sapiens and homo sapiens sapiens all these things we have already learned in our first term so in our second term we will learn more about man how man slowly and gradually adapted to its environment and started settling in one place and how he began with cultivation harvesting domesticating animals all these things we will be learning slowly one by one in second term okay so today we will begin with lesson number 6 that is stone age stone tools in this lesson we will we shall learn about the different periods of stone age and the different types of stone tools that were found in that age okay now what do you see in this picture here we can see something in a ground a stone or some object that is buried in the ground right if you want to take it out what will you do to it if you want to take that object out from the ground what will you do first we would use our hand okay we would try to scrape it out with our fingers if that did not work we might try it to dig it out with a stick or a twig if that too did not work we would look for some pointed stone to dig it out with the help of that pointed stone we would try to dig that object out from the ground but if it still doesn't work then we would have to get a big strong iron rod to dig the object out right now what does this show this shows that we need to choose the tool according to the demand of the task if something is buried very deep under the ground then we will need some strong pointed tool to take the object out from the ground similarly if we need to climb somewhere up on the roof then we need a what we need we need a ladder if we want to stitch a piece of cloth what we need we will need a needle and thread in the same way in the olden time during the stone age tools were made according to the needs that means during the stone in the stone age period they used to make tools according to the needs according to the task so the stone age man used different tools according to the demand of the task now for example hunting for hunting different tools for fishing different tools then for hunting bigger animals different tools for breaking stones and nuts we make use of different tools so in this lesson we shall learn about the different tools made in different age by the stone age man okay now the following four factors determine the choice of tools now what are the factors to make a tool the very first one is 
availability of resources. So first we must look for the available resources. Do we have the resources to make the tools? Right? You have to see that first. Do we have all those resources to make the necessary tools? Okay. Then the second one is minimal use of time and energy. That is the tools that we are making should not take more time or more energy. Work should be completed in minimum time and in less energy. Then the third one is maximum efficiency. Now tools you should serve the purpose. It should not take more time and the work should be completed properly. The work should be completed properly. That is more important. And the tool should be efficient. It means it should be properly, it should be proper when you're using. Okay. Then the fourth one is skill of handling tools. This is very important. Now the person using the tools should know how to use and handle it properly. And this proper handling can only be achieved through practice. Okay. Proper practice through regular practice. For example, if you want to put a nail into a wall, okay, if you want to put a nail, you what will you use? You will use a hammer. Now, when you use a hammer, you should know to use it. Why? You should know to use that hammer. If you don't know you to use that hammer, so while you're putting the nail, you might even hit your hand. So that is why it says you should have the skill of handling tools. Okay. Let's move forward. Now here in this picture, what do you observe? You can see a chimpanzee. Okay. What is it doing? In the first two pictures, a chimpanzee is making use of stone. You can see in the first two picture. Okay. Now what is it doing with the stone? It is hitting something or it is breaking a seed or a nut. Okay. Then in another picture, that is the third picture, he is using a stick. You can see, right? A stick is used to stir out the ants. Okay. There is an ant hill over there. So he is stirring out the ant from the ant hill. Right? So from this also we can understand that apes like chimpanzees also make use of stones to break seeds and nuts. And they use the stick to stir the ants from the ant hill and to catch them. Okay, they catch those ants later. Similarly, human beings have also been using a tool, using tools like bone, stone, dry twigs and sticks as tools to carry out different tasks. Okay, now let's move forward. Now tell me, who is the most intelligent of all animals? Do you all know? Yes, man is the most intelligent of all animals, right? With the help of his intelligent, it's continuous and minute observation. Minute means very, very small, small observation of surroundings and experimentation and in their inborn imagination, humans learned that they could sharpen rods. Okay. Humans, we humans learned to th that we can sharpen rods, bones, sticks and stones into tools. So with their intelligence, they developed that how they can make different types of tools and sharpen those tools. Okay. To carry out the task more efficiently. Then man also learned that they could give these objects any shape. They only did not make tools. They also made tools with different shape as you can see in the slide. Okay. Thus different types and different forms of stone tools were formed because of its intelligent and experimentation and observation because of man's intelligent and experimentation he developed the knowledge of making different tools 
with different shapes okay let's move forward now in the previous lesson we saw that stone tools were found with the remains of homo habilis or we can say that he made them because they were found near his remains but did he only make stone tools did he only make stone tools no right the answer to this question is no because he made tools from other materials also such as bones wood twigs sticks etc so he did not only make tools from stones he made tools from other materials also but why he okay so he made tools not only from stone but from other materials also then the next is stone age tools okay the next point is stone age tools now which period is called as the stone age do you all know the period from which mainly stone tools are found is called the stone age okay the period from when stone tools were found that period is called as the stone age now this stone age period is divided into three periods okay they are divided into three periods on the basis of the shape and the types of tools found now let us see which are those ages okay or which are those periods the first one is old stone age or paleolithic age now your paleo means old and lithos means stone then the second one is middle stone age or mesolithic age where meso means middle okay and the third one and last one is new stone age or neolithic age where neo means new okay now let us gather some more information about the old stone age now homo habilis and homo erectus who belonged to the old stone age they made their tools using the percussion technique now there was a technique called percussion technique now what is this percussion technique now percussion technique involves beating or striking large pebble against one another in order to obtain stone flake so you can see in the first picture in the slide so now what is percussion technique percussion technique means beating or striking large pebble against another in order to obtain stone flakes okay in the left hand side you can see in the picture right so while doing this while doing this small pieces of stone come out right when you are rubbing two stones together small pieces of stone come out now what are those small pieces called they are called as stone flakes okay this technique is known as the percussion technique now the first tool made in the old stone age with this technique were crude they were not very smooth they were rough or raw okay only one side of a tool had a sharp edge that you can see in the second picture okay only one side of the tool had a sharp edge such tools are known as choppers now for what did they use this tool this chopper for what did they use they could only be used for breaking nuts or bones okay the tool made by homo habilis were of this kind they indicate that homo habilis had not yet learned to hunt okay this homo habilis they had not yet learned to hunt they had also not yet learned the art of making tools that that time they had not learned the art of making tools and the flakes of stones would be produced while shaping these tools were used for scraping meat from hide so these choppers they were used for what for scraping meat from hide 
Now what does hide means? Hide means the skin of dead animals. Okay. Then what else this tool was used? Choppers for chopping meat and other food stuff and also for sharpening wooden sticks. Okay. It was also used for sharpening wooden sticks. Let's move forward. Now here you can see pictures of some stone tools made by Homo habilis and Homo erectus using the percussion technique. So by using this percussion technique, which all tools Homo habilis and Homo erectus made? We will see that. A stone hammer, you can see in the slide, a hand axe, then an antler used as a hammer, then removing minute flakes from bigger flakes. Flakes which are being used to scrape skin of dead animals to obtain meat and for chopping meat. Okay. So these are some of the stone tools made by Homo erectus and Homo habilis during the old stone age. Okay. Now let us see the Homo erectus. Okay. They made tools. They made different tools. What are they? The hand axe and clever. The tools made by Homo erectus were more proportionate and symmetrical compared to that of Homo habilis. It means that the tools made by Homo erectus were more advanced than that of Homo habilis. Homo erectus, while making the tool, what they used to do is they could mentally visualize his tools. They could just imagine those tools. He could imagine his tools before making. Because of which his tools before making was properly shaped. Okay. They used to make properly shaped. You can see it in the slide. They used to properly shape it. Sharpen it. Okay. The edges of those flakes by scraping of smaller pieces to make the scrapers with sharp edge. You can see they have made with sharp edge. Right. So whenever they need it, they can use it. Okay. Homo erectus used different tools of different tasks according to the demand of the task. Because of his improved tools, he could hunt, that is Homo erectus could hunt variety of big and small animals. As you can see in the second picture, they could hunt variety of big and small animals like the deer, bison, rabbit, etc. Okay. Let's move forward. Now let us see the Homo sapiens. Okay. The Homo sapiens brought about a revolution in the technique of making tools. They totally changed the way man could look at tools. He devised a technique of obtaining long and narrow blades of stone. So these Homo sapiens, they used to use long narrow blades of stones as you can see in the slide okay the tools made by homo sapiens are very much different than that of the homo habilis you can see first we learn it is very much different he made tools with long and narrow blades of stones now with that stones what all implements what all tools he made he made knife, scraper, borer, chisel, etc. These are name of the tools that the Homo sapiens made from these long blades of stones. Now you can see in the picture various types of stone tools that were made by Homo sapiens. It could be used for different tasks, for different purpose, etc. according to the need of the man. Now the Homo sapiens were very progressive. Okay, they were very progressive and they gained the knowledge of his environment and surrounding region and used it in the technique of making tools and obtaining food. So Homo sapiens, you know what? They always stayed in groups. They always stayed in groups and they lived in one place for a longer time. Okay. 
they begin to build huts and live in them then they also started celebrating social festivals they also used to celebrate different festivals then cave paintings were a part of their celebration as you can see in the second picture when they used to celebrate any festivals they used to make cave paintings they also started using ornaments to adorn themselves that means they also started wearing ornaments so that they could look good now what they they made these ornaments from what they made beads from the time of homo sapiens were made of shells okay these ornaments were made of shells bones and animal teeth you can see in the picture okay they used all these things to make ornaments thus the beginning of human culture goes back to the old stone age now let's move to the second age that is middle stone age now homo sapiens in the middle stone age continued to make progress in many different ways okay they continued to progress in different ways they started living in groups right we we learned it before so they started living in groups then they even domesticated animals they domesticated animals like dog they also adapted to changes in the environment now to go to another place you have to get adapted to that place you have to get used to that climate so they also adapted to the changes in the environment then the tools tools made by homo sapiens during the middle middle stone age were light in weight and durable they were very light in weight that were used for variety of task now for what different task they used that tool they used it for hunting fishing harvesting cutting of trees etc then he used to make implements okay now what tools he made knife and sickle by firmly fixing blades into grooves now when you want to fix a blade you need to have something attached to it like a wooden thing or a bone right so what they used to do is to they used to make grooves grooves means holes and then fix that blade into it or a piece of wood also <coughs> let's move forward now besides hunting okay besides hunting the hom the homo sapiens also started to harvest food grains that grew harvesting food grains means growing grains cultivating grains or in other words you can say farming so homo sapiens had started with farming and also domesticating animals like cow goat sheep dog etc <coughs> now what did their food include now what did the diet include the diet includes various plant food so homo sapiens also began to settle in one place for a longer part of the year so this thing such as farming or domestication of animal is not a new thing it all goes back to the period of middle stone age <coughs> let's move forward Now many sites of the Middle Stone Age. Now where all these people used to live in India, we will see that many sites of the Middle Stone Age have been found in India. Among them, Bagar in Rajasthan, Bimbetka in Madhya Pradesh, Langanaj in Gujarat, Patna in Jalgaon district, in Maharashtra, are some of the well-known sites of the. middle stone age so these are all the places where these people used to live in that period in that age okay <clears throat> next is the new stone age now the tools made in the new stone age were polished okay were polished to give a smooth shiny finish and that were made for the first time so new stone age means new right to pol they used to polish with a smooth shiny finish okay the tools made in the new stone age were very smooth and shiny okay you can see in the picture they were very smooth and shiny as this was a new type of tool okay this was a 
new type of tool. They, they have never made it before. So this was a new type of tool making technique. So this period was that is why named as the new stone age period. Okay. This way they got the name as the new stone age period. Then the next is by the time of the new stone age, agriculture and domestication of animals and animal husbandry had become a routine way of life. Agriculture means farming. You all know that, right? Cultivating our own food. Domestication of animal or animal husbandry means keeping animal at home. Means keeping animals in order to obtain some useful things from them. For example, keeping hens to get meat or eggs or keeping cows to get milk or keeping goats to get milk. So this had become a routine way of life. It become a habit, routine way of life. So man was not dependent more on hunting as a mean of obtaining food because they were dependent more on farming. So hunting became secondary, hunting became second, okay, to agriculture and animal husbandry. So people started for using more on farming and cultivating their own food. They used to not go for hunting much. They used to cultivate their own food. So hunting became secondary for them. Okay. So in this lesson, what we learned, we have learned about the different periods of the Stone Age, that is Old Stone Age, Middle Stone Age and the New Stone Age. And also we learned about the different tools that were used by man according to the different tasks. We also learned how man adapted to the changes in environment and with the changing circumstances, he changed his lifestyle and adapted to a new way of living. The next is your homework. First question is, tools like the hand axe and lever were made by Dash. Next is, Dash brought about a revolution in the technique of making tools. The next one is, what does Mesolithic mean? And the last one is, what is meant by the percussion technique? That's all for now. Your chapter ends over here. We will learn the next chapter in the next video. Thank you for listening children. Goodbye. Take care.